All right, so to take our mind off the food that we're not eating right now, that just looks yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, let's, let's get into some subject. It's all about moms at the moment. Yes, we are building towards Mother's Day, so yeah. that's a part of it. But I think it's also just such a big part of our lives. If you look at a lot of successful young South Africans and you ask them, where does that success come from? Nine times out of ten, they'll say, they'll talk about the relationship that they share with their mother. Now, you add to that the statistic that um, about half of South Africans are being brought up by single moms. Yeah. If you're a smart teacher, mass teacher especially, you'd see an opportunity. Absolutely. And of course, in times of great stress on our educational system, you can imagine how moms can play such a crucial role in fostering the love for education uh, within our communities, especially the love for maths. And when you add those two things together, well, it yields great results. Let's take a look at our Monday, Mandela Monday hero. It's quite an equation. <laughs> For many kids, mathematics can be a tough and challenging subject to enjoy, let alone succeed in. Now, employing the power of motherly love, a group of mothers have come together to create a safe environment for kids to come learn maths while improving their results and gaining confidence in the subject. And that's why they are this week's Mandela Monday heroes. Rose, how was Math Mom started? Well, I worked for Western Cape Education Department and uh, I met Sonia at one of the schools where she was doing volunteer work, doing TRE, trauma release exercises with the children and my schools were all located in Alsis River. I asked Sonia, actually approached her to help me with the staff of Eitzig Primary School where we had a very high absentee rate of teachers and principal, he said, well, I'm, I'm struggling really with the staff to keep them motivated. And Sonia then started the TRE program with the staff and uh, had a tremendous impact. And with her interaction with the children, she said to me, you know, the children, they can't read. They, they struggle with mathematics. That is her dream to start a, a program where we can really help these children but do it through the mothers of the, of the children. Why the focus specifically on moms? Why was it important to get them coming in and caring for the performance of their children as far as maths is concerned? When children can master maths, they feel good about themselves. It's like, oh, you're clever because you can do maths. So the maths is really just a vehicle that we use to build confidence in children. You have retired teachers involved in the program. They come in here and coach moms to become tutors and mats. How does this all work? The moms are selected by the school themselves. And then we work with seven to eight moms per school. One mentor, the mentors being a retired teacher. The teachers got 40 to 48 kids per class. But with the moms, they work on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I get the most activity to go with my blocks and stockies to play, and that it my was kind of fun, my was kind of for better. The mid mom did my job, she made my mask, she made my wankel to fit a precise what I can get on my career. Well, I think if you master maths on the foundations, then you basically have it. As a mom. Being involved in this program, it's, it's rewarding. Just to be there for a child, for a child in need, for a child to know there's somebody out there looking out for him or her. From the year 2016 to now, it's 2019, how has this program grown? Tremendously. We started off with one school in Elsa River to 10 schools in 2019. What do you enjoy most about being part of this program? Is to see how the moms grow. Really, the, the growth is wonderful. Um, I remember the first group of ladies we started with, they were so shy. Uh, they won't talk and they will look down when you speak to them. And they go and they speak uh, on public forums now. There are maths examples everywhere, cooking in the kitchen, in a trip to the shops, and showing kids that arithmetic in daily life makes all the difference.